بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سو ٹوڈے وی ہیو ڈسائڈیڈ دا ٹاپک کیلوری میٹری کیلوری میٹری از ایکچولی دا اسٹڈی آف ہیٹ ریلیزڈ اور ایبزارپڈ ڈیورنگ اے پروسیس نو دا پروسیس مے بی اے فزیکل اور اے کیمیکل پروسیس دیر از نو لمیٹیشن ویدر دا پروسیس شوڈ بی فزیکل اور کیمیکل بوتھ آر اسٹڈیڈ ان دا کیلوری میٹری کیلوری میٹری کین آلسو بی یوز ٹو فائنڈ دا ہیٹ کیپیسٹی آف اے سبسٹینس بٹ موسٹلی کیلوری میٹری از کنسرن ود دا فرسٹ تھنگ دیٹ از دا ہیٹ ریلیز اور ایبزارڈ ان اے پروسیس نو ان کیلوری میٹری دا اپریٹس اور دا انسٹرومینٹیشن وچ از یوز از کارڈ لیس کیلوری میٹرس دیر آر ٹو ٹائپس آف دا کیلوری میٹرس ون از اے کانسٹنٹ والیوم کیلوری میٹر ان وچ دیر از نو چینج آف والیوم اینڈ دا ایگزامپل آف دا کانسٹنٹ والیوم کیلوری میٹر از دا بام کیلوری میٹر وچ از اسپیشلی یوز ٹو فائنڈ دا انتھالپی آف کمبسٹن آف فوڈ فیول اینڈ ادر سبسٹینسز اینڈ انتھالپی آف کمبسٹن از ویری امپارٹنٹ to find the calorific value of the food how much calories the food will provide to your body when you will eat its one gram or your or the unity unit quantity now because it is constant volume calorimeter and we have discussed in the first law of thermodynamics that the change heat changes at constant volume qv that is equal to change in internal energy so this calorie meter is actually going to provide us the change in internal energy and the proof of this qv is equal to delta e for this proof you can see my video lecture on the first law of thermodynamics it will be in the playlist thermochemistry <coughs> the second type of the calorie meter is the constant pressure calorie meter in which there is no change in the pressure it is also called as isobaric calorimeter and one of the very common example of the constant pressure calorimeter is the coffee cup calorimeter in coffee cup calorimeter we discuss the solution chemistry mean the substance which is going to study or the reaction which is going to study it will involve the solutions so this calorimeter will be particularly useful for finding the enthalpy of solution enthalpy of neutralization like this but if the solids and gases involved then this is not a very useful it will not be used because the pressure is constant so the heat changes at constant pressure they are represented by qp and that is equal to change in enthalpy as the coffee cup calorie meter involves only solutions and you know in the solution state there is very minor change in the volume and volume almost remains constant so that's why we can say that delta h is approximately equal to delta e because when the volume is constant then the change in enthalpy is equal to change in internal energy now let us discuss these two calorie meters one by one first is the coffee cup calorie meter this is a simple diagram showing a coffee cup calorie meter having a styrofoam cup styrofoam cup mean it is made up of polystyrene it has adiabatic wall you know polystyrene does not allow heat to move out or in so if you want to find the exact heat involved during a chemical reaction then the wall should be adiab- adiabatic it must not allow the heat to enter or leave the calorie meter and that's why this is very important point that's why we you prefer the styrofoam cup instead of beaker because the beaker will be made up of glass and glass will allow the heat to escape or enter and if it will be made up of some metal the same will take place so that's why the coffee cup calorie meter is made up of styrofoam here is the thermometer this one is the solution which is we are going to study in this now when the reaction will take place obviously there will be certain change in the temperature 
if it is exothermic reaction then the temperature of this water will be raised because heat will be released and if it is an endothermic process then the temperature of this solution will be decreased because heat will be absorbed our main concern is to measure the change in temperature actually calorimeters provide you only one thing and that is change in temperature and then by using this change in temperature you can find the relevant enthalpies what will be the heat capacity of calorimeter the heat capacity of the calorimeter is actually the heat capacity of water which is used in it and what is the heat capacity of water remember it the molar heat capacity of water is 4.18 joule per mole per kelvin and that is used why the heat capacity of this hardware is ignored actually there is no hardware in the styrofoam cup it is called as coffee cup just because that only a simple styrofoam cup is used so there is no hardware that's why its enthalpy is ignored now there are some limitations of the coffee cup calorimeter this calorimeter will not be applicable if the substance we are going to study or the reaction or the change we are going to study that involves gases because the gases will escape the calorimeter and secondly the temperature should remain very low those reactions in which the temperature becomes very high that cannot be studied with this calorimeter because there this polystyrene cup may melt in it so reactions involving small temperature changes they are usually discussed in it and what is the formula applied q is equal to mass this one is the mass and usually the mass of the water is taken this one is the specific heat capacity and that is also of the water which is inside it and change in temperature is provided by the thermometer so when you will put all these values you will get the q and this q will be changed in internal energy and uh, that will be actually the sorry this q will be the change in enthalpy because we are discussing the constant pressure calorimeter and in this way the enthalpy of the reaction is found now the second one is bomb calorimeter it is example of constant pressure calorimeter sorry it is an example of constant volume calorimeter why the volume remains constant because bomb is a sealed container no vapors can escape out of it so the volume remains constant inside the bomb now this one is an insulated jacket shown with the black in this insulated jacket there is defined mass of the water and in that defined mass of the water we use a stirrer and we use a thermometer while this is the bomb which is usually made up of steel and it is enameled in order to avoid its corrosion and inside this bomb there is a platinum crucible in which the test substance is taken the substance whose enthalpy of combustion is required that is taken and the amount usually taken is 1 to 1.5 grams then this one is a wire because in order to find the enthalpy of combustion you will have to combust the sample and for combustion we use the electrical ignition here then this one is the gas inlet through which the air is introduced in the bomb calorimeter now you know for the combustion air is must combustion is the burning of a substance in the presence of excess supply of air and usually the pressure of air is kept from 20 to 30 atm but mostly 20 atm now it is very high pressure that's why keep in mind that bomb calorimeter is made up of steel because it will have to withstand the high pressure inside it then now what will be the working of this calorimeter after taking 1 to 1.5 gram of the sample in the platinum crucible you will ignite it electrically now the sample will start combustion its combustion will start when its combustion will start then this bomb will get heat up and because of this heated bomb the water will also be heated in which this bomb is immersed and the temperature of this water changes 
and when temperature changes that delta t is noted down and now you will apply the formula and the temperature changes sorry are studied after 30 second interval now you will apply the formula q is equal to heat capacity into change in temperature this heat capacity has unit joules per kelvin which is its definition as well because it is the energy in the joules which is required to raise the temperature of a substance up to 1 kelvin so applying this formula you will get q and this q will be approximately equal to or it will be equal to the change in internal energy now let us have a comparison of the bomb calorimeter and coffee cup calorimeter what should be the first point if the difference is the question in the exams then what will be the difference between these two it is constant volume calorimeter it is constant pressure calorimeter first difference second it is used to find the enthalpy of combustion it is used to find the enthalpy of neutralization or solution involving the solution chemistry second difference third in this qv is equal to change in internal energy while here qp is equal to change in enthalpy now the fourth it is made up of styrofoam polystyrene and it is a styrofoam cup and this bomb is made up of the steel next this formula q is equal to mass into specific heat into delta t while here is there is no mass because the mass is fixed that is 1 to 1.5 gram so these and then diagram can be drawn and these are some differences in the coffee cup calorimeter and the bomb calorimeter so this was all about the calorimetry in some lecture we will come up with the problems or the numericals how to solve the numericals involving these calorimeters till then take care Allah Hafiz